Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Gizmo Denar. So if you looked at the title, you will notice that this episode is called Tears of Agony. I was planning on doing Tears of Guthics, however, I do not yet have the requirements to make a bug sight lantern, and there's no way I'm grinding out 49 smithing. So instead, I'm going to complete Death to the Dorishkan and buy one from the city. This also presents another problem, since I don't yet have 23 agility forcing me to do tourist trap quests if I do not want to grind out those skills. Apparently, the mercenary captain from the quest has 80 HP, so I'm going to get 10 fletching while I figure out how to kill the captain. So here we are at the Shandy's Pass, we can basically buy all the items here. So we're going to go ahead and do so. And for this we're going to take our full Iron Man armor, our wooden shield, and our leather gloves. Now that we have 10 fletching, we are ready to start the quest. So the first thing I have to do in the quest is kill a mercenary captain to get a key and enter the camp. Apparently he has 80 HP and supposedly a max hit of 5. Since he will be regenerating health throughout the fight, I'm hoping I can do at least 20 damage with melee, and then let my remaining 65 recoil charges finish him off. Let's see if it's enough. I ran out of recoil charges! Why did he hit a 7 on me? I hope I don't have to start the fight from scratch. I should have brought mage for the extra damage. Oh good. He is still low health. We can finish him off now. And now we're being attacked by a rowdy slave. Let's lure him behind the rocks and we can continue the quest. So as you can tell, I haven't done this quest in a while. Apparently, I'm supposed to search underneath the table to the north, and then exit through the jail. Long story short, I get my main key confiscated. So to get another main gate key, I have to kill the captain again. Fortunately, the second time you fight him, you do not have to talk to him every time he becomes unaggressive, so I can just far cast him. So here we learn how to make darts. This will be very important uh, once I get a blowpipe. Now 
And it would not be Tourist Trap without Anna, who almost gets me caught several times throughout the quest. That's Tourist Trap complete. I'm going to use this XP on Agility and Smithing. I need 23 Agility for Death to the Doris Can, and the other two skills are easy to train, so Smithing it is. That's the end of the episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.